little booby traps are unwanted reactions. The most common booby trap results from breakage of a glass container. As the gasoline jug drops from waist high onto the pavement, the gasoline spreads rapidly and finds an ignition source. An inferno covers about 50 square feet. However, if we use an approved metal can, gasoline will not explode even though it is on an open fire. These cans vent and control the pressure from the elevated temperature. Metal containers of approved types are always preferable to glass containers where flammable liquids are being handled or used. We ignited the gasoline vapors, but some substances such as white phosphorus, alkyl zincs, and triethyl borane are spontaneously flammable with air. tests made at Calorie Chemical Company illustrate the flammability and control of borane fires. Here, a hydrogen oxygen torch had been turned off at the torch valves, but not at the service valves. The hydrogen continued to burn with a small invisible flame which ignited the rubber hose attached to the oxygen. Torches should always be turned off completely at the service valves and hung up or placed in a metal holder. Service valves should be operable from outside the hood. Oxygen combined in salts such as sodium chlorate may also be a booby trap. The doll on the right is untreated. The doll on the left was soaked for a few minutes in sodium chlorate solution and dried. Whenever oxidizing substances are used, extreme care must be applied to prevent contact with clothing and other combustibles. Nitric acid is both an oxidizing and a nitrating agent. Organic substances easily decompose it into oxides of nitrogen, as we illustrate with sawdust on a simulated nitric acid spill. These oxides of nitrogen are highly dangerous. Inhaling even a small amount may produce serious lung edema. Many metals such as iron, zinc, and copper decompose nitric acid. If these gases are accidentally encountered, approved respiratory equipment should be used. Bleaching powder, or calcium hypochlorite, is a mild oxidizing agent. Normally, it slowly evolves chlorine. However, mixed with glycerin in the left cup and with phenol in the center cup, it reacts rapidly, evolving clouds of irritating smoke. Methyl carbitol in the right cup requires two to five minutes to generate sufficient heat to fume and ignite. These little known reactions show the need for caution when mixing even supposedly innocuous chemicals. Benzoyl peroxide is an example of a substance which contains both fuel and oxygen in the same molecule, requiring only heat to ignite it. Here, with an electric arc, we illustrate the speed with which the peroxide burns. Peroxides differ widely in their sensitivity to heat and shock, and this fact must be kept in mind if peroxides are to be handled safely. Certain substances, normally gases, are also used liquefied, such as oxygen, nitrogen, LP gas, helium, and hydrogen. If the colored water in the flask were liquid hydrogen, the hydrogen evolved would occupy over 27 cubic feet at STP. Mixed with air and ignited, this quantity can produce a violent explosion. All liquefied 
liquefied gases, regardless of their flammability, expand to several hundred times the liquid volume. Potassium superoxide, the yellow solid in this beaker, reacts with air to evolve oxygen and to form a white crust of carbonate and hydroxide. A canister containing this substance is a one-use device and must not be reused. Instructions on the canister must be carefully followed. An open canister in a fire will explode. The of sodium with water to produce hydrogen and sodium hydroxide is highly unpredictable. Eventually an explosion occurs, but not always when expected. For precautions, however, this reaction has been used to dispose of large quantities of sodium. Sealed in yellow metal tanks taken 200 miles out to sea under Coast Guard supervision and dropped, the tanks were opened by delayed action explosives. To attempt such an operation on land or in a small body of water would require extreme care to protect against the explosion as well as the fallout of sodium hydroxide smoke on populated areas if the wind should shift. <laughs> Laboratory ovens have been involved in booby traps. If a volatile or an unstable substance is stored in an oven, ignition may occur. Properly adjusted approved door release or an explosion venting panel will minimize such effects. But careful control of what is placed in an oven and the temperature is essential. Likewise, chemical storage in an unmodified household refrigerator may be a booby trap. Several spark producing sources are normally present in household refrigerators. When flammable vapors reach one of these sources, the door is blown open, venting the explosion, but the fire continues. These pictures were taken at 500 frames per second. Extinguishing the fire was virtually impossible. hazard exists in every household refrigerator used for chemical storage unless it has been properly modified by removing ignition sources located inside the food compartment. applied will reduce the toll from chemical booby traps. Mm -hmm.